Um, we're home since the 26th of February. That's coming on a year now. And February, February emergency accommodation, self, self accommodating, and we can't find anywhere else because the place that we're staying in is in the habitat. It's only Not suitable for anybody to be there. There's nowhere ventilation in the house at all, and we had to go for like a month and a half with no hot water, no, no heat. heating. Dampen is in the house, my son has respite issues. Of leak from rat infestations, fly infestations from the dead rodents being dead in the house, the smell of the rodents which make me son and I was physically sick from the smell of it because we're confined to one room. And if we were to purposely put ourselves in, in a position like that or go out and find accommodation like that, we'd have CPS like removing our son from us because of the conditions but yet, of the place. But yet they think it's suitable for them to put us into this predicament like it's costing the state a uh, massive amount of money to keep us there in a place that they shouldn't shouldn't be even opened. Might as well be just be putting a light out of the money and burning it where this man is making a huge amount of profit. We went to look on HAP, we went to review the 80 odd properties, about 65 to 70 we found ourselves. We received an email from the head of place finders, place finders saying, saying that they're no, no, no longer looking for us due to backlogs. We were positioned 14 in 2014 and done a pre tenancy course, and we found out in 2015 we went from position 14 to 86 with no explanation. So my father committed suicide in November due to the same reasons for being homeless a number of years and it's the what's it come to people for to go out and take their own lives because that's not breaking people every way possible